Um, eh, uh -huh. Are you sure? I remember you had a girlfriend, Phoenix. <laughs> can, can you tell me what it is you do? Well... No. <laughs> and you had your widow hopes up, didn't you? Hooker, got it. Oh god, it's 25! <laughs> I talk, oh, I talk, wow. a cute warrior. Me. I am... I am not drunk enough for this. <laughs> Hooker isn't exactly right, but... I see there are two glasses on the table. I'm not drunk enough for this, and I don't drink. Been double fisting it, have you? <laughs> well, I'm sorry. Never. You don't ever say that again. <laughs> Ooh, what amazing powers of observation. You must be one of those famous detectives I got to tell me. Oh, she's British now. Not me, I'm just a starship captain and definitely a lawyer and not a janitor. Hey, Mr. Big Detective, why don't you go look for clues in the garbage? Mm -hmm. Miss May doesn't like nosy little warriors. Oof. There are no uh, there... clues in the garbage. I know this because I live there. You're gonna have a, an amazing time voicing her during the trial. Do you think you could tell me something? I need you to describe what you observed at the time of the incident. Ooh, observe. Incident. You sound just like a warrior in the movies. Stop being meta, game! <laughs> I like a man with a big vocabulary. <laughs> Star, this is Game. just this is just training. <laughs> I mean, that's that is also a, a clue to whoever the fuck is gonna come next. Better yeah. not encourage her. You, you know that thing that you have got... Bad things, yes. What did you see when it happened? I don't suppose you could tell me about it. Quicky, please. Let me see. Um, well, dream on. I didn't know you were a fan of Aerosmith. If you want to know, You'll have to come to court tomorrow, Mr. Warrior! Oh boy! That was a nice ass! Hey! <laughs> oh, hum! If that wasn't the most over-the-top clearing of the throat I've ever heard, must be all the mahogany. Aha! So you're the one they say has been looking for me. Oh, God. Uh, hello there, Mario. No. <laughs> hmm, that badge on your collar. Uh, so you're a lawyer, are you now? Definitely a lawyer and not a janitor. And what do you want? I'm not particularly busy these days. Please, proceed. Not busy? Then how come no one could get in touch with you? Hmm? Something the matter? Cat got your tongue there, boy. You came to see the one and only Marvin Grossberg, did you not? Well, here I am, boy. What do you want? Out with it! Well, sir, actually, it's about Maya, Maya Faye. 
There's a changing tone. Ah, oh, yes, my thing. Go on. Why the strange reaction? <laughs> I'm really quite busy here, son. Have I told you about my desk? It's a desk made of mahogany. Not just any mahogany, either. <laughs> yeah. This mahogany is from the planet of Malchior 7, where the trees are 300 feet tall and breathe fire! It it's all too buzzy. trees that this desk was forged 2,000 years ago, using ancient blood rituals of the Malchior people. Not only does it make this desk bloody and destructible, but it can bend the fabric of the universe itself. <clears throat> tomorrow, yes, tomorrow. No, no, I didn't say tomorrow. Anyway, it, it's a very fine material, very expensive. Mahogany. 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 They chose. They chose not to read. Mahogany. Yes, yes. That was his way of completely just avoiding any discussion of the case whatsoever. See, in this canon, they just got distracted by the mahogany desk. He uses that desk to distract from anything he doesn't want to talk about. And we still have to talk to him. Talk. Please, will you tell me more about the desk? And not anything about a cave. <clears throat> well, you see, it's just, it's just I'm busy, you see. But the client is Mia Fey's sister. <clears throat> <clears throat> Mia trusted you. She knew her sister would be in good hands and an excellent desk. Did you say in an excellent desk? Yes. He's going to shove Mia, Maya, into the desk. No, yes. do not, do not, do not. Yes, yes, of course I know that. Also, in the desk, she would never fit. However... Well, be one way, but... I'm, I'm sorry, but no, you, you... You get nothing, good day, goodbye. Creep with a fantastic desk. Fine. I'll do it I don't have I don't have time to argue with you anyway. I'll go look elsewhere. Did you say something? I said I think not. I too think not, but what do you mean precisely? I'm terribly, terribly sorry. But I'm afraid that no lawyer worth this salt will take on this particular case. Then you I'll haven't met nice, you know. it's right, trademark. Terribly <laughs> sorry, my boy. Someone takes the case to Harvey Birdman. I'll take the case! <laughs> <clears throat> Dude, he makes himself such a reputation that someone impersonates him at some point. Mm -hmm. I, I cannot say. I beg your pardon, but could you leave? I must polish my desk of mahogany now. Mahogany. Your desk. Just your desk. And nothing my else. Desk. Of all the paintings I've seen, that's certainly one of them. Aha! You noticed. It's my pride and joy. Impressive, isn't it? Well, isn't it? The color of the sky, the hue of the sea, the weave of the straw hat and that magnificent mahogany tree. <laughs> it's worth at least three million. I have no intention of parting with it, of course. It may be worth less now. No, I won't sell it. Not even to you. Uh, I... Keep in mind how adamant it's not for sale. 
I'm not... Oh, Jesus. <laughs> that was one hell of a ventriloquist act you put on there for a second. I'm not buying. How did you know, Mia Fey? Um, she worked here a long time ago. Quite the apprentice, that one. Learned my techniques in the blink of an eye. She left one day quite suddenly. She had a mission, you see. A mission from God? She was willing to say to the dad. She's a woman on a mission. <clears throat> you could see it in her eyes. She followed it with a burning passion. Never looked back, that one. Every day, yes. Number six. 3.42 p.m. Detention center. Visitor's room. Hiya! Maya? Oh! You're back! Did you find the letter? Technically? <laughs> well, the thing is... I really don't think you should use that guy. He didn't seem healthy. He was all skin and bones. So you mean all skin and mahogany? And mahogany. He, ref he refused, didn't he? What really happened? You don't mean he refused to help? Erp. I see. I've been abandoned then. Ah, oh, this music. What about your family? I only had my sister. My father died when I was very young. And I don't know where my mother is. Don't know. So, bitch, I'm your mother now! I'm the phoenix! <laughs> I mean, oh. oh no! It's not far away. <laughs> Let's go. The women in my family have been mediums for generations. They say a lot of spiritual power runs in our blood. About 15 years ago, 15 years ago, our family was involved in an incident. There was a man, and he. he. He, ru he ruined our mother's life. Ruined? After that, she disappeared. Several years after that, my sister announced she would become a lawyer, and she left the mountain. So, you live by yourself? Yes and no. <laughs> yes. I've gotten used to it, though I have my aunt and my cousin, but let's not talk about them until they're relevant. Oh, why my sound? Oh, also... I had to become independent, or I would lose my powers. I feel bad for her. All by herself, up on that melt mountain. So, was this man who ruined your mother a Dracula, perchance? Are you a Belmont? You are legally required to tell me if you're a Belmont. Not. Stop dreaming, dude. <sighs> About 15 years ago, there was an unusual murder case. Remember this case. It made quite a stir. Everyone was talking about it, apparently. The police were running out of leads, and they were getting desperate. Wait, they didn't use a spirit medium, did they? The police convinced my mother to try to contact the victim. So what happened? The case was solved. We thought. You thought? The man my mother helped the police capture was found innocent. 
Exclamation point. The police consultation with a medium had all been carried out in secret, of course. But a man found out about it and leaked it to the press. He told all the papers that my mother was a fraud and the media jumped on it big time. He, my mother, became the laughing stock of the nation. I see. White. Excuse yes, I'm white. Get on with it. You're supposed to be yell. <laughs> 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 I'm sorry. We're, we're going to hell. We're, we're, you we're started. All going to hell. You started. I just shouldn't have jumped on it. <laughs> that was his name. My sister told me. White. Hmm. Just a little longer now before the state appointed lawyer comes, I guess. Bitch, I'm your lawyer now. 4 p.m. Time's up. What should I do? Do I just leave her and go home? Um, you get a game over if you say go home? I don't think so. We haven't saved, so we're not putting it to the test. Yeah, I don't remember if it's a game over <laughs> or if it's just Phoenix that goes snap out of it. Of course we're helping out. I've made up my mind. I'm going to defend you whether you want me to or not. Why? Because... You choose, Lantern. I don't know why. Aww. To be honest, I don't know. You don't know? Is this girl sitting in front of me the killer? You will learn to know that she always gets herself in terrible situations. <laughs> All the evidence seems to say yes. Like a There's... certain childhood friend. <laughs> There's something about this whole thing that smells like the butts. That witnesses strange behavior. Was that all an act? In the way that lawyer refused to help out Maya. But more than all that, she has no one left to help her. Nothing is more sad or more lonely than that. Time to be old Barrack. I know, I've been there a long, long time ago, in a galaxy far away. Why did I become a lawyer in the first place? Well, Naboo was under an attack. Because someone has to look out for the people who have no one on their side. There's only one thing I know for certain. I won't abandon you. You can count on me! I'll this take the case! This is how the best friendship in the game started. That's so kind of you. <laughs> Well, let's fight this one and get you out of here, or die trying, Wave. Wait, what? Well. <laughs> Wait, thank you. She smiled at last. She looks like an entirely different person. Oh my God, you're going to learn. You're going to learn a lot about this smiling person. <laughs> one last question. Aside from the yaoi thing, you are innocent, right? Yes! And I trust you! So you trust me too, okay? You absolutely shouldn't trust me, but it's a deal. So, Dual... what's next? Flash forwards to dual destinies and the whole concept of trust in the legal system. There's some... <laughs> There's... Something that's been bugging me. Just what was inside of that strange woman's drawer? 
Perhaps me, it's not as bad as you think. I wish you could check my drawers. <laughs> I was not gonna make that joke, but I was thinking it. <laughs> sure the game is going to make that joke for you later, too. Of course it is! Good afternoon, sir. Where's your the bellboy? <laughs> oh, Keith Moon! Pl fancy seeing you here, no one's going to get that joke, either. Ah, beg your pardon, sir. And the bellboy is astonishment at your service, sir. Oh, right. I just come to deliver room service, sir. Do you know where Miss May might be? Ah, but you might guess Miss May is currently using the, um, facilities, sir. If you're no need, uh, no need of anything, I'll be taking my leave, sir. Please stay as long as you like. Enjoy. Yeah. Wait, no, hey! He left. Later, loser! Why does it seem like every time I come here, I end up in... Well, I embarrass myself wherever I go, so I shouldn't be surprised. Now is my chance to snoop around a bit. Ah, I almost forgot. Why are you a bit of me? Oh my god, it's a wizard. Why do I ask you to bomb this way? Uh, there is a message for her. Please tell her that Mr. White of Blue Cop phoned. Oh, right, sure. White. Mr. White. Mr. White of Blue Corp? It's not like I heard that name five seconds ago. There we go. Flashback. Wait, that was his name. My sister told me. It's not Wait. Naruto levels of flashbacks, but you're gonna get a couple flashbacks. Mm -hmm. Could it be a coincidence? Yes. There's a screwdriver sticking out of that half open drawer. Now's my chance to see what's inside. Do -do. What do we have here? A wiretap? Hmm. What would a woman like her be doing with a thing like this? Yoink! When your tap added to the cold record. There's definitely something suspicious about this Miss May. Why would she have something like this in her hotel room? There's a story behind all this. I know it. All right. I'll be using this bit of evidence in tomorrow's trial, that's for sure. For Maya's sake. I'll get to this woman's bottom! I know what I said. <laughs> Yeah. Time to roll for deception. Um. I look forward to tangoing with you tomorrow, Miss May. In court. <laughs> to be continued. My. Do you want to save? Yes. That Why so not? that's the first Water, if I remember correctly, of that uh, episode. Yeah, that's the first investigation done, and now we have trial. Yeah, I think there are two in uh, investigation phases in this one. Yep. But as it is, it's time to bring this little business lesson to a close. I've had enough. <laughs> no. I, I've been the Raven. This has been Ace Attorney. Joining me has been Sarat. Lantern, Star, and Yoko. Thank you for everyone joining. Thank you for everyone who's managed to stay to the end. I am sorry, and I will punish Lantern later. I think he wants it. 
<laughs> bye, bye, folks. Mahogany. Bye. Mahogany. <laughs> <laughs>